Hello and welcome to another episode of Fishing in the North Atlantic. Right, I've just uh, I've managed to get my balance over a million, a million sixty-six. So we're we're in the Millionaires Club, which is pretty amazing. Um, uh, doing a few net hauls. I'm out here doing a bit of lobster fishing. We've actually put down fifty pots. About to pick these up. Um, I don't. No, real. This wasn't a particularly great area for lobster, so I've, I don't know what the haul will be. Um, I'm going to pick up, say, the first ten, and then I'll make a cut to just get in the last few and going back to the base, and then we might be looking to get our next boat. Um, I'm afraid it's night time, so not an awful lot to look at let's just make sure search lights on it is okay let's get the crew out actually i need to check who's the best at pot hauling pot hauling five that's not good is it pot hauling six that's not great sadie's um pot hauling eight oh. emma can do the Pot hauling, sorting crabs, eight, not bad, and six. So, it's on sorting, and uh, we won't use Nora for this one. Ninety-nine, yeah, we could do a bit of repairing. Right, we're looking for this uh, boy in there. It's really dark. It's um, seven. We should get some. I don't know when we'll get lights. It's winter, so it might not be till nine, ten a.m. I can't even see. It's so dark. I can't even see the boy. There it is. Not for the map. So last time I was picking up uh, of anything from nothing to I can't remember was it seventy or hundred kilograms in a pot. I think it was about four thousand kilograms we got from the last fifty pots that I did. But I don't think this is a great area, so I'm not expecting a decent load. We'll, have, we'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, just fancied a bit of a change from net fishing. Been doing redfish and haddock. After I reached my full quota of Pollock. Um, so yeah. Uh, now just to explain, so what I've done is I've, uh, because it takes more time for the crew to sort through the lobster, I've done 10, waited four hours, done another 10, waited four hours, another 10, waited four hours. So there's a four hour break between each 10 pots, which should allow, um, otherwise you're in danger of the last 10 or 20 pots getting too old and losing losing out I should be right in front of a boy and I can't even see it Zoom in a bit, help us. 138 kilograms. So yeah, it was, I think it was like sort of 70. I think the most I got was maybe 200 and something. Um, that's not bad. 138 kilograms from a. So as I say, I got about 4,000 from 50 pots last time, which was probably what, an average of like 70 or 80 kilograms of pots. So 
if you get a hundred kilograms of pots and you're doing 50 pots then it should be about 5,000 kilograms from your 50 pots so you don't have to worry about um, if you're buying any boats I guess for just lobster fishing or, or um, sometimes fishing it's not necessary to upgrade the um, cargo I think it's the same with uh, some of the crab snow crab fishing no fish were caught so well that's kiboshed at average already 138 from the first one thinking yeah good average 100 and then nothing from the second one It's 100%. It is so dark. Although it does take quite a lot of time to put out 50 pots and pick them up. I haven't done an awful lot of it myself. Um, they're instant drop out. So like with the nets, you have to wait and wait and wait until they go out. And then the same when you're bringing them back in and picking them up. The lobster is very quick to put out because you just chuck them over the side. You can, and the boat doesn't slow down automatically like it does for net fishing. So you can just lob out 50 pots going full speed up and down in rows. So that's pretty cool. Picking them up though, uh, obviously, um, you can't pick another one up until the crew have finished uh, doing what they're doing. But normally it's it's pretty quick. So by the time I get onto the next marker, they're done. But it's certainly picking up 50 pots. I'm still using the crew, it would be probably a bit more profitable if I did myself, but my crew aren't going to level up. I did that and constantly going in and out of their wheelhouse. Uh, and we did a little bit in the um, manual in the uh, tutorial one that I did. But yeah, I mean, you could put out 10 pots with four hour breaks. Oh, I'll tell you what, I wasn't ready for it. This must be a good uh, pot then. We're sorting them out. 220, yeah, that was a good pot. I picked up the next one. I mean, the game's quite good because the same with the net fishing. Actually, if, if they take longer doing the task, if it beeps straight away, you know you've got no fish or little fish. Or, so there is a real, it's not just a set mechanic and then it tells you a number. If it's a bigger haul, they will take longer to um, do whatever it is they're doing. It's quite nice. So 138, nothing, 220. Let's pick up pot number five. So I guess I'm aiming for 4,000, but if I can get nearer to 5,000 and 50 pots, that'd be great. 117, okay. But setting 100 is, is sort of minimum is what I want, although we've had one with nothing, so that's... But the average, I think we'll, we'll still get some more that's so we should get over 500 kilograms here with this pot as long as it's 25 kilograms or more I'm using the steel uh, lobster pots don't need to gut the fish or anything with this it's just a case of baiting them before they go out and then drawing on to the next one not, not even the moon out some of the night escapes with the aurora and the moon's out are quite nice and other nights it's just pitch black Two fifteen. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. I mean, if I was to average two hundred, which I don't think we'll do that as an average, 
and uh, you'd be looking at 10,000 kilograms. That's uh, I think a hundred average. We'll see, we'll see what we're on for after the first 10 pots. Uh, just because I'm trying to keep these videos down to uh, less than an hour, ideally really 45 minutes, but um, a lot of them are the hour. And I want to have a look at getting our next boat. Um, I'll, have to add, I'll have to add more crew and we've got to upgrade the boat and pay for that, so I'll probably will have to borrow some money. But hopefully with this, we'll have almost close to the money to buy the boat, and then I can maybe take a loan for the upgrades. Uh, the next boat has 80,000 kilograms, so I should really be able to do... It's just uh, line fishing and net fishing, I think, the next boat, so... Uh, if I remember rightly, so I think... I could be looking at 300 grand for some of the hauls. That's 274. Hmm, that's good. That's up. That's up to my. That's up to my average. So, we're six down. They're working on the seventh. 966 kilograms. A little bit of sunlight starting to appear so I can actually see a horizon. It's now 8.33. Right, only a hundred that time so that's adjusted that but still over the hundred. So yeah, I mean, it's going to take me, uh, you know, sort of 15 minutes to do 10, 10 lines. So rather it be an hour of just picking up all 50 lines, so I will probably put an edit in after the 10 lines. I'm not ready for this next one. Engines. So we're already over a thousand, so that's that's our hundred average for ten, and we've got two more lines to go. So on for maybe about 120 average, 177. That was a good one. So I think good for me now. I'm thinking 150 is good. 200 plus is really good. Anything under a hundred is below average. Obviously the skills of the crew, I mean my crew are still you know, we've got a few now going above 10 for some of the gutting and things, but most of their skills are still below 10 out of 20. But it doesn't really make a difference. Oh, hang on, I just dri I've just driven right past the, uh, the number 10. And I can wind on time, so that's 22 hours. These ones are just 18, so I, each each 10, I want to pick the lobster up around 21 hours, 20 to 21 hours, what I'm aiming for. So after pot 10, I will probably wind the time on so that the first pot's about 21 hours, just to allow for a little bit more lobster to get in the pot. 
295. Oh, that was good. I don't think I've had a 300. That was close. I mean, we're not in the best of... Well, we're in season, but we're not in the best of... Um, I can't remember what it was in the wiki, was it? When it talks about... Um, fish seasons but not that the um I think it was in finance was it uh, it's in the logbook this is it so I mean if I can get these to like high so like that we're still just doing in medium and it says medium is 50 to 75 percent so you know if you get a high yes yeah, 75 to 100 so I don't think I've done anything in a high yet what did we get? What did we get? 218. Okay, that's good. Right, so that is the first 10 lines, and we've got 1700, so that's an average of 170. That's uh, that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to wind the time on. Uh, that's 19 hours. I'm going to wind it on two hours. I've got these four hour breaks, but of course it takes sort of in-game time about an hour to pick up the 10. I'm also catching up with ourselves. Right, so that's basically 21 hours, the last one. They're just starting to go blue on the other line. Uh, I probably should have, well, I do a longer break, I will rest some of the crew. Right, I will put a cut in here and edit, um, and I will continue to go pick up all these lines. And uh, I'll see you for the last few lines to pick up. We'll have a look at the average and we'll see what we can get from this haul. I'll chat to you in a sec. Hello, welcome back. We made it to the last um, lobster pot, pot 50. We've picked them all up. Uh, second from last, 315. So just to give you an update on our catches. So uh, early on, say early on, uh, I did get... Um, a 300 here 301 i think that was a new record for me and then a little bit a few more pots um i got a 400 the last 10 were actually pretty poor here we go look 415 kilograms that's my new that's my new pot record but like the one before it was 145 and the one after it 106 so the optimal time is still sort of 21 to 25 hours. 26, you, apparently you start losing uh, lobsters. Uh, and there were several that I got that were no fish caught. Not many, about three. And then the last 10, um, I had like a 45 and 94 and 89. They weren't that great. But a couple hundreds and two hundreds. Uh, that 300 at the end. So, looking at uh, our haul... We got 8,300 kilograms, which is more than double what I got last time I did 50 pots. So we should be in for a fairly good take. Um, let's pick this last one up. Uh, gone and a little bit. Very straight. So, uh, I mean, if we can get 200 from this one, beat 8,500. Uh, 
Uh, 8,000 divided by 50 pots is an average of 160. That's I'm happy that I thought I was going to be on for an average of uh, 200. Um, but uh, yeah, we didn't quite get to the 10,000. Take I'll take eight plus though. Come on, come on. Making a right hash to this last one. I really lined up properly, was I? Grab that parts. So, two hundred. Well, one hundred and sixty plus. Or something to get eight five would be a nice round figure. Uh, three in the morning uh, in game time the last sort of ten pots weren't pretty, I knew they weren't in the best sort of lobster I had patches, I put them down on top of them but they, they weren't absolutely flooded area so uh, this though, I mean I've got like three groups pretty much sitting below me I'm hoping this, yeah, 275. So we got 8617 in the ends. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, whoops. Let's put the crew back for a well earned rest. Uh, they were getting little little breaks in between the uh, wind forward times. So you use less fuel if you uh, go back. I'm going to go back to Yarmouth um, because I've got my best rating at Yarmouth. Um, start my standing. So when you do missions and things, I need to get some of the other ones up higher so that I've got more options. But we'll go here because also I think the boat I need to buy is from here as well. Right, everybody's rested. Uh, fish on board. Uh, let's have a look. That's disappointing. I thought I got 120,000 for 4,000 kilograms. So how have I got... I was thinking I was going to net 200 grand here. Um, 2,603 lobsters at 1240. Let's just check. Let's not sell it. Just, 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 just. What do I need? I need. I need prices. Let's just check. Someone isn't crazily. So, um, lobster seventeen seventy two at Yarmouth. Eighteen at Lundberg. Eighteen twenty three at Lockport. 16 at Ingalls Head, 1820 at Digby, 1824 at Dinny Point. What are we getting at Yarmouth? 1772. Well, maybe I'll be best to let me. Actually, I'll repair the boat because any money you spent. I'm a fishing wizard, you see, at Yarmouth. Um, if I do, so so we do get this plus eight percent reputation. So I'm getting this eight and a half grand. So I don't. I'm going to spend my. This might be a false. So where was? The, I can't remember now. Where was the next? Eighteen ninety nine. Eighteen twenty three is the highest. Be 1824. I'm going to go to D point. I know I've been working on the reputation there. It's just to the right. So we'll go to. We'll go there. It's over here. And um, we're getting about 50, 60 cents or so more, but two times two and a half thousand. Uh, 107, so that's actually less, even though we're getting more. Uh, 
that's a shame. Let me, let me do the fuel and that. That will help that standing a little bit. Hmm. Do I go back? I need to go back anyway because um, I want to get this stand. Now I'm going to sell it here. It's two thousand. I mean the fuel's going to be a thousand to me. I need to go to back to um, Yama to get the boat I want anyway. Let's sell that anyway. So that gets us to Handy Fisher here. Yeah? So that really it does really matter the reputation. If you look at doing the the uh, jobs tips right the missions if you do these things and um uh i'll have to video one or two i had um go rescue somebody at sea and also got the cargo runs which are twenty five thousand, but a little bit nearer than the port deliveries but still these port deliveries in real time take me about an hour and a half in 15 knot boat probably averaging 10 or 11 depending on the weather um, right, so, and also the better the rating you have, the more loan c you can have. So if I look at here, I can borrow 880,000, but we are going to go back to um, my top port, Yarmouth. And... Um, I think they'll loan me like more than a million here. So let's purchase fuel first. That was 500 fuel. It might have benefit me to sell the fish here, but I ne I wanted to, you know, so I'm a fisher wizard here. Um, but if you just only ever do it at one port, you're not going to improve the other port ratings. So yeah, so if we look at the bank, borrow see 1.7 nearly twice as much now. yeah I was wondering I was wondering about hmm, I don't know I reckon I can make about 300,000 plus a trip with this new boat but I was thinking of, of waiting and getting a boat that's about four or six million or something I can't remember which one it is now. I don't think it's here. Well, the Dexter's 4.9. But it's only got 800,000 storage. So I've had that in my Ocean Runner. I mean, you can't... Your costs are going to be more with the crew. The, qu the quota's really good. You get a really big quota. So you can go out. But that's still going to be 150 grand of fish. A cod, pollock, haddock, and redfish. Yeah, unless it trawls crab, but it doesn't say it trawls crab. And you have to do the pots for that. So, they re you know, the storage size isn't really enough. Because if I borrow 1.7, and I've got one, I'm up, I'm up to about 3.7. No, what am I on about? 1.7, 1.7, up to about 2.8. About halfway there. So this was the boat I was going to buy. And we need... Um, we need about 80 grand to get this boat, but then we'll need a few upgrades and probably some more crew. What's the crew? Five maximum on here. We've already got three. So I'd probably need a quarter of a million, I'd say, on some upgrades. Uh, crew, if I get three more crew at about 40 grand, some of the best ones now, probably worth employing. I don't think it's worth employing the cheap ones now. Might as well get people with a few more points. Uh, that'd be about 150 grand. So maybe, maybe borrow half a million. Uh, so this is just long lines, but it's nets, 165 meter nets. But it's got this, it's got the same cargo storage as the other boat. It's just the quota's a lot less. 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1
I've got 500,000 on my ocean runner. Let me just check. Um, well, the total quota. Okay, so that's not per fish. 1.8. Um, okay, that doesn't look so good then, does it? 1.2, the total quota. That's that. It's not too bad because that's split between long line and net, whereas mine's got lobster, um, all the different types of fish, so it's broken. I, th I think the biggest. Well, let me have a look. If I look at my quotas, I think 500, so 200,000, 250, 350. So Haddock's 350, um, and the rest are 250 or or 200, like cod, I don't call any cod, even the, this, <laughs> this ship I called the Battered Cod, and we, we haven't actually caught any cod, that's quite funny. So, um, Yeah, I, d I just think it's probably worth because I mean I'm I'm still several million short, and the Moby D is gonna be better. So uh, it's not divided by the net and long line; it's divided by the fish. But the quotas don't look that big. It won't include the tuna and the lobster quotas. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. But it's the next... It's the next ship. I want to get the selfie just to do some of the missions. I mean, it's 3 95 until I've got some spare dosh. Because this is the fastest boat in the game. It's even faster than the speedboat. The speedboat goes 20 knots. This thing does 30. Um, uh, the Coastern's got this uh, snow crab. I quite like to get that. It's six, six and a half million, but it's just crab, so you won't be able to use it all season round. Um, and then there's a couple other boats that are sort of four to eight million, but I'm no, I'm nowhere near those. So I think we'll have to get this. Um, I mean, one or two loads I'll pay off. Let's just have a look. I want to do this in this video then we'll get the new boat we won't use it we'll just have a, a walk around and I don't need well minimum they'll give me 750 five percent uh, but that's gonna be more than enough isn't it um, kind of annoying it's kind of annoying they don't allow you to have a slider choose you know because it's like I only want like I could go to another port and get less but uh, but it all helps the um, yeah I think 750 is more than enough let's take that out okay so now we got 1.9 Let's get the new boat. Uh, I think this will look quite nice because, as I say, it's a wooden wooden hull, steel top. Whoosh! Six hundred. Whoa! It's going backwards for me. Um, right. So it comes comes with a full fuel belt. It would be rigging. Right, I need to rig for nets. So that's what I'll mostly be doing. Um, I'm not going to pay for the long line just yet. Uh, I haven't really done a lot of that. I will get it though for the boat. Um, right, we need to buy the nets. Cause these are new 165. So they're 1200 each. Right, so just trying this again. Something's a bit holding, but scrolling. 
pressing shift, scrolling. Control. Oh, that didn't work for me. Right. Okay. So we want 20 of these. I can sell my other boats if I wanted to, but in this playthrough, I'm planning. Look, the deck screen is covered. So I'm planning to not sell any boats if possible. Uh, I might have to do one if we've got some of the big 20 mil, you know, to get and then go back and buy them. But um, right, let's look at the upgrades. I will need. Um, I will probably on this ship because it's net fishing. I probably will need to upgrade the. Um, let's do the fish shona first. Two and a half thousand meters, fifteen grand. Um, I'm not sure I even need the radar now because we've done all the engines. Forty-five grand. I will do that. Sixty. I don't need to do the radar autopilot that we use them at the moment. The storage is going to be expensive on 200,000. I'm going to go straight for it. I think it's worth it. Um, if you were doing crab or other ones, and I don't think they use, obviously, you've just seen like my, my boat's got eight, um, 40,000, and we just picked up lobsters that were eight, so you know. For some of the boats that are just doing lobster or whatever, it's a different, but I think I'm going to need that. Um, okay, it's 260. That's the engine, the storage, quota will leave at the moment. But what do these do then? Well, 20%, 40%, 60% for a million. I we'll need the boys. We'll go and get the best ones of those. Right, the gutting. I'm going to get gutting times two. It's going to go straight for the top stuff. 289. The freezer. 50 grand. Two of those. Stacking, okay. Two of those. Searchlight. Let's put the best one on. They're all flipping useless. That's three hundred and seventy-four grand. Okay, well that leaves me two fifty-ish left. Um, what did we not do? So I did the searchlight. Did the stacking. Did the freezer. Getting the boy, the fish owner we did, didn't we? Yeah. The quotes, it's just the autopilot and radar that we haven't done. That's fine, I'm happy with that. Right, let's hope the boat doesn't whack into the. That's quite nice. What are we going to call this boat? I'm not giving it too much thought. Not sure I want to keep it white though. How do I change the colour again? Um, go back into ports, maintenance, change colour, and the name. But I'm not going to keep it as the Moby D. I uh, will have a think. Um, so we. Is it just that bit that gets changed? Thinking a yellow might be quite good. Brown's actually quite nice to go with the wood, isn't it? Could change the shade. Something like that. Oh, that looks quite nice.
Uh, and the name. Unfortunately, it's not on the back of the boat, so... Can't call it cod. I want to call it silly cod. Silly cod. Uh, I'm having a brain freeze now. Um, I'm going to call it net zero for the moment. Because we're doing nets and net zero. Climate change, all that stuff. Go for that. They do this percent thing so the repair bills can get quite high. Okay, let's do this little uh, tour then. Okay. We've got quite a small wheelhouse. Which makes sense when you look at the boat. Now we've got a knife... Let's see if I can um, adjust the... Where's the clock? I know that I've got the clock back there. Can't reach it, can't spin round. Clock in front of me. Seeing if I could do this without getting up. But there. Light up though. One of the viewers said, oh, you don't need to get up. Maybe it's just a small boat or something, but it doesn't... Oh. Read my tablet. Yeah, anyway, so, so we got the clock here. Different looking clock. I could do some serious damage to this boat. When they're when you're in the boat, it can hit the wall. And it does cost Money, break it here. Open door. Oh, oh I can go up here. Oh, that'd be nice. Good spot for the old viewing. There's a life life raft up here. Really sure why I would want to come up here though, but the other boat didn't let me go on the roof. Okay, so I've got steps, steps down here, uh, it's just a close to the wall. I banged my Lenora, I think. Oh, I've got stuck. I feel like I'm going to get stuck. Got stuck in the railing. Uh oh, that's damage. I'm gonna... I had that. Let's see. Boat is undamaged. Okay, didn't damage it. I'm just gonna. Quite nimble turning. Eighty thousand. I've got the best engine in here now. Oh wow! Oh man, this feels foul. We're not meant to speed in the ports, but um, let's see what I can get it up to. It said 10 knots, but that's the standard speed. It's going to be about as fast as the ocean runner. Feels faster because it's sort of longer and narrower. Okay. Fill the engine. 
let's complete our tour. I like it, and I like the boats. I like it down. Is there a door? I think maybe I can go to work there. Oops, bang my mic. Right, so the crew will probably come in and out of there. Shema can't visit like crew areas, I think some of the boats so I've got this set up for net netting so this is the uh, gutting um, it says times two so I don't know if that was two machines it's just like the speed and the nets are here go to wheelhouse uh, go to work that so I just look at the floor there takes me straight to here. Actually got a boat that we can shame I can't go in the crew area. Oh you think oh I wonder what you know in the engine room and that I know it's not the game but I could have yeah that doors that that should have been a go to I thought there were two gutting machines because we get five people so where are they all going to work? Two on there, two on there, that's four. I suppose one at the back, either five. Just have a look. <clears throat> so prepare is one, net haul is two, machine guts two, freezing and stacking. Okay. There's two slots cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just go back and we'll have a look at some crew. Um for hire. Have I got enough money? I have. So the best people Michael Wood, he'd be our first bloke. Do you want to work on a boat full of girls? Oh yeah. Just please mate. Train operation six. Everything else looking pretty good. And Graham Oakley. Crane operation six as well. I'm not using a crane on this so Anybody with some good... Right, so let's get... Um, like stacking 12. Stacking and freezing, that's what we wanted as well, weren't we? So let's hire him. And let's hire... The one-off hire cost and then... I get the crew cut. Which is quite high, but... Um, Could rest them at the crew house if I needed to. So I'll need to work out. So like, who's the best at stacking? Stacking ten. Stacking five. You don't use stacking five. Stacking six. Stacking 12. So he would be my stacker. He would be my other stacker. Let's just look at... I think they're both going to be good at freezing. The freezing was 10. And... Freezing is 14. And these will be less. Yeah, 5. 6. 6. Yeah, so if I use these guys from stacking and freezing, my machine getting a bit, I mean, these guys would probably be pretty good. 11. And he's 12, but she's now 13 because of using. So I still use Emma as the machine gutter. The others aren't too bad on machine gutting either. 11. And 11. 
like that I can use any combination and net hauling while they're still net hauling 11 11 and 14 let's just see if these are better probably not probably quite a good 12 I could be better 12 Yeah, okay. So I pretty much use these ones for my gutting and net hauling as I've done then, and these guys can do the freezing and stacking. Right, so join me in the next video. We'll take this out for some uh, net fishing. That's only 20 nets, not 30, but I'm only using 10 for 40. Uh, but this is a 165 metre net, so it's, um, what, 40 metres longer. So, we should pick up more fish per net, obviously. We'll have to see how it goes. So, I mean, 10, ten nets might fill this boat. Well, 10 nets would fill 40,000, but I've got 20 nets, so we'll see. But we've got the best. The times two thing I bought, I think that's just the work positions. Like, if I hadn't have bought that, they would have been one job instead of the two and kind of the name of the boat at the back um but yeah oh it's close to the wall let's look at, I'd, i really want to go below decks though don't you everybody back So for the first time we've got some blood. I was gonna think like can we can we keep it an old girls crew? Fish. Whoops. That's wrong. I'm just gonna shut the door. Chilly out, it's winter. Yeah. Well we've got some pictures now of the boat. The Moby D. Net Zero. Probably to be renamed on a lovely sunset. Right, thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, another new boat. Onwards and upwards. Our first million... Uh, uh, our first, well, 1.2 million, wasn't it? The first million plus uh, boat. And uh, we'll see what we can uh, bring in with this. So we've done all the important upgrades and got the important crew. So we're rocking and rolling. Ready to pay off the debt and then... Yeah, I'll uh, start thinking about what boat I need to get to next, which will probably be one of the four, five or six million pound boats. Right, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, smash the like button, leave a comment and subscribe for notifications. I will see you soon. Take care.